Yo, what is going on everybody? In this Apex Legends video, I'm going to be showing you the best PC settings to get max FPS and just to have the better overall advantage over your opponents. These are the settings that I use on the daily when I'm playing Apex Legends. These are the settings that I use when I'm making my videos for YouTube. So yeah, um, anyways, I'm gonna get into just a couple settings that aren't quite in Apex. Actually, to start it off, if you have an NVIDIA GPU, you can open up your NVIDIA control panel. And here, you actually have a setting that you can actually go ahead and uh, either choose performance or quality. Um, you have to choose use my um, per preference otherwise um like apex legend is going to decide so if you really want to go this route and you have an nvidia gpu you can go ahead and turn this to performance and you will get some better fps already back in apex legends now we're just going to go through the normal settings that one was just kind of a cool one if you happen to have an nvidia gpu just starting it off with my video settings for that maximum frame rate everybody i have my brightness up a little bit that depends on my monitor but full screen guys um you definitely want to have this on full screen having it on like windowed or like borderless window that'll actually decrease your fps make your game look pretty bad in game so i mean occasionally i will have this on like borderless window or window saying I'm like in like I don't know like the legend selection screen working on a video or something but otherwise if you're playing apex legends you want to have this on full screen for some of those absolute sweats out there that were playing CSGO, sweating away with that on stretched res, maybe you want to try a different aspect ratio, 16 by 9. Uh, that's what I that's what I run. Um, resolution, 1920 by 1080 native. I suppose you could turn this down if you really want better FPS, but I highly recommend, uh, you know, just having this on 1080p. And then if you actually have like FPS problems, then um, if you know your PC isn't that great, then you can just turn down your video settings to be running on 1080p. But if you have a really bad PC, maybe it's worth turning it down a little bit on uh, resolution. Field of view, um, it's best, I think, just as far as being good at Apex Legends to have your field of view as large as uh, far to the right as possible. But if you're kind of struggling with FPS and if it really doesn't look that good to you, saying you're a little bit more casual, it's going to be totally fine to crank down this uh, field of view a little bit. You will get some better FPS and maybe it just looks better for you. Moving on to Sprint View Shake, uh, definitely have that on minimal. V-Sync, that is going to depend on what computer you have. Me personally, I'm running G-Sync right now, so that's why I have this undisabled. But if you aren't running G-Sync, uh, maybe you want to look into uh, uh, V-Sync, but I do not run that. Adaptive resolution FPS target. I have that turned off anti-aliasing. I have that turned on guys um, I would not recommend cutting corners with anti-aliasing I would definitely recommend to have that turned on and then texture streaming budget This is how much of your video RAM on your graphics card is gonna be dedicated to apex legends I have this on two to three. I find that a pretty good um uh some a pretty good setting for uh my setup texture filtering i've heard and i've tested that this does not really affect your fps that much right so having it on something like say 16x i think it helps the game look a lot better and i do not really see a notable noticeable fps drop moving on to amb ambient occlusion quality i mean if you want your game looking beautiful you can put it on high but if you want good fps have that on disabled then um shadows we're gonna have those on low of course and then spot shadow detail turn this off too these are great settings these couple of them here turn these off um volumetric lighting dynamic spot shadows off 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 good fps good fps model detail now guys model detail this is going to be kind of hard on your gpu if you're having problem with problems with fps you can definitely turn this to low me i like having this on high i think it makes the game look so much better it's totally worth it for me to have it on high but if you're looking for maximum fps turn this on low and you're gonna see um a noticeable fps boost effects detail i have this on low um this these two settings here these have more to do with your cpu um my cpu has so much headroom so i have these turned on high but i mean if your cpu is really bad i guess you could turn those off so going over to the keybinds now and just kind of my mouse settings i'm running on 800 dpi on my mouse so i'm running 1.6 cents um a lot of pro players uh, they're going to be running right around the 1.8 mark so mine is a little bit below like just slightly below like you know like the absolute gold standard what you could say of mouse sensitivity but i mean this is pretty standard to have at 1.6 on 800 dpi i have the multiplier 
k on 0.7 all right um a lot of people have this on 0.8 or 1 okay but i found 0.7 um it's a little bit different than everybody just slightly and it really works well it's not really not really too out of the normal these two settings here uh per optic adius sensitivity um you might want to look into actually adjusting these i personally just have these turned off i find that the simplest for me so right just an example here everybody um so i have this turned off i would recommend overall with your settings you know finding the best thing that works for you right given settings is not going to work for everybody or you just copying all my settings right is not probably going to be the best. So maybe you want to look into something like, uh, you know, per optic ADS sensitivity. Um, so moving on to like the actual key binds. My sprint is actually on tab. A lot of people have this on caps lock. Just with my hand size, I just kind of have basically like my sprint and slide buttons moved up a little bit. You know, nothing too crazy there. I've seen it before. My tactical and ultimate ability, I actually find these two very, very good buttons to have on your mouse, right? So it's not really, you're not always going to have to have, you know, a, a premium key bind, I think. I don't think you have to have, you know, tactical on Q. I really don't think so. I think mouse buttons are going to be very good um, for your abilities. And interact pickup, a lot of people have this on like E. I find F to be the greatest for that. Alternate interact, uh, that does not have to be a premium bind. That's kind of a little bit off to the side. X is still a pretty good key though. So yeah, you guys can kind of see my um, key binds here. I'm just going to kind of scroll through it. Uh, see if I see anything. A mouse scroll wheel is great for swapping weapons. I highly recommend everybody that's watching this video to use scroll wheel to swap your weapons. Because in Apex Legends, right, you have two weapons. So, I mean, you're not really, realistically, you're not going to want to click one and two keys. I think it's just going to be quick to bump that scroll wheel, and it's going to swap your weapons. Uh, holster, I have on four. Um, equip grenade, a lot of people have this, say, on possibly control or G. I found this is a pretty good bind for grenade. Like, you don't have to have the greatest key bind for equip grenade. You're just going to... Press it quick when you're about to pull out a grenade, right? You're not, normally when you're pulling out a grenade, you're not about to die. So I just kind of have that a little bit off to the side. I find that frees up some room for some other binds, right? So scrolling through and guys, here's actually a big one, a really big recommendation for you guys. I have ping enemy on a pretty premium bind. I would have to say so myself. Um, This one is on Q. So if I see an enemy and I really want to ping, I can ping enemies while I'm shooting. I don't have to stop shooting. I don't have to make the stop shooting make the call out to my teammates while i'm shooting if i see someone kind of you know pokes out of an unexpected place i can be shooting them i can be pinging them too i think that's pretty cool so yeah moving on to the gameplay settings guys um i'm gonna just point out anything that i see that's kind of kind of like that i found to work really well for me okay so crosshair damage feedback i turn this to off i highly recommend this one right so if you have x with shield icon that's actually like your kind of hit markers when you're shooting people you'll get that x over their body me personally i think this kind of covers up the bullets i think overall it makes it just a little bit harder to aim i've seen fully dedicated videos to turning this setting off highly recommend trying to turn set this one to off um it's literally going to help you in gunfights if you turn this off in my opinion from my testing all right um, moving on minimap rotation that's kind of up to personal preference whatever is most comfortable for you there i would recommend that weapon auto cycle on empty um that is also something you should uh, consider yourself what is going to be the best for you what is your instinct when i run out of ammo on my weapon i'm always kind of watching i'm always a pretty pretty aware of what my mag is at i'm naturally gonna swap over once that weapon runs out of ammo and then having this on on messes me up quite a considerable amount this is also a setting that's gonna play a pretty big role in gunfights um auto sprint i guess that'll save you from arthritis uh pretty sure i'm getting arthritis in my pinky because i have this turned off actually just taking a look at this i i'm gonna keep it off actually no i'm, I'm good uh, performance display i mean that's a new one um if you guys didn't know that was there also anonymous mode and streamer mode those are kind of newer features so make sure that you know those settings are there going over the audio um i turned to lobby music volume uh music volume off okay i guess i'm boring like that but i mean really do you need it it's a little bit of a distraction me personally guys okay if you're on pc um, go turn on some Spotify or something, get some good music, I don't know, but uh, maybe you don't want to go that far, but uh, personally, I have these turned off, that music gets pretty old. And also, everybody, my secret vibrant setting, everybody, a vibrant setting, okay? If you have an NVIDIA GPU, 
um, for me and I believe by default for everybody who has NVIDIA GPU, Control Z should bring up this menu. Okay, uh, you guys see this? Yep. Uh, game filter. Game filter is what makes this look so vibrant. You're watching, I think, a pretty vibrant recording. So um, go ahead, turn um, to three. I'm going to show you guys what I actually have for this. Uh, so this, I added a filter. This is a color filter. Um, you can go ahead to this menu. You'll see a, a list of stuff. Me personally, all I mess with is color because I actually think um, these filters overall kind of decrease uh, FPS in my opinion. So maybe uh, if you if color isn't that important to you, maybe you want to skip this setting because me when I turn the setting off, maybe I get five more FPS. Okay, I haven't tested it, so don't quote me on that one. But uh, anyways, so you see tint color zero zero. Make sure to turn all this stuff. I, when you're when you're applying filters, just kind of turn everything to zero. And then so you start off at zero, and then you know maybe adjust a little bit, and you'll find something that's cool. Temperature, I think. Okay, right. So it's on zero right now. Everything's kind of yellow. I go ahead and turn this to like negative ten, and then what's white on this, which should be white on this, is white. So that is my one uh, kind of. Uh, kind of wild card setting that maybe not many people know about whatsoever people who are watching this video probably don't know about this and then I vibrance all the way at 100 okay so you're gonna start off at zero and you can turn it all the way to 100 I don't believe you can see this actually actively changing the filter guys but uh, if you go ahead and test this in game you'll kind of be able to see how the vibrance changes with this slider and yeah it looks really beautiful you can go ahead and turn it off uh, if you don't like it, just click off, or you can apply the filter. It's not really not too difficult. Uh, you shouldn't be messing up uh, stuff. So, anyways, everybody, I really hope you enjoyed the best PC settings in Season 7 of Apex Legends. Yes, this is going to be an upload on Alarix's alternate account, I think. But if you are not subscribed, click that subscribe button, okay, everybody? If you're not subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you have, you are subscribed. Uh, really good Season 7 videos, a good Apex Legends videos um, are on the way, so uh, make sure you are subscribed. And, yep, that'll be about it for me, everybody. Uh, peace out.